All right, everybody. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. We're back. Back with another video. Uh, we're back with another unboxing video, and we're back with another NFL fan starter pack, I assume. Although you never know what's in these packages. And look, I'm a bit confused. I'm a little bit confused. Um, I got this on the 18th of October. So I do apologize. Um, it's been sitting on my counter for about nearly two weeks. And it's only because I've been busy. I've been busy, man. But here we are. We're back in the office. And lo and behold, I can turn on the camera and I can sit here and make videos. And it's fantastic. So I'm a bit confused because of the fact that this is apparently one uh, loose coat, it says. Although I, I, I don't think it's a loose coat. And... Um, it says it's from Yu Yao Ling. From the fifth floor, Gangong Fengshan Shi Road, Chancheng District, in China. So this has come from China. It's come from a guy, Yu Yao Ling. Although I assume it's actually been ordered online and this guy's sent it from his store, from his online store. But I'm also half thinking that maybe someone's bought an apparent genuine NFL jersey online and it's actually come from China and it's actually a fake but I, I you know who knows look those are the things that have been going through my head uh, but with that being said you know I've never talked to a Yu Yao Ling I don't know if there's going to be a note in here if there's not I'm going to have to search through my Instagram messages to try and Try and find someone who's, who said that they've sent me what is in here. But with that being said, guys, let's find out. Once and for all, it's red. It's red. It looks like the Kansas City Chiefs. It looks like number 10 for the Kansas City Chiefs. Who is number 10 for the Kansas City Chiefs? Who's number 10? I know Hill's number 11. And who is Yu Yao Ling? All right, we're gonna see this together. Who is it, man? Hill? What? I thought Hill was number 11. Oh, sick. Okay, cancel, cancel what I said before about it not being genuine because it looks, it looks as if it is. It's a size. Excel, which is fantastic. It's got the little piece of plastic over the backing there. It's, um, well, it's fucking beautiful. And look, it's even got that same sign that I received on this flag that I got just earlier. And I believe that means, I believe that A stands for the AFL, but you guys are going to have to you guys are gonna have to let me know. Let me know in the comment section below what this actually stands for, the A. Is it the AFC division or is it the AFL that was around before the NFL came in? I, I don't actually know. Now, why did I think that Hill was number 11? Why? Let me check that. No, he's number 10. He is number 10. I should have known that. I really should have. I apologize. Uh, Yu Yao Ling. <clears throat> this is actually a jersey I wanted for a long time. Tyreek Hill. Genuine Kansas City Chiefs jersey. I mean, this is sick. I'll tell you guys, once and for all, I will never, ever, 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 ever get sick of opening up these packages on camera. It is like Christmas um, every single time. And seeing as I'm nearly 29 years old, um, I haven't really had too many Christmas presents for the last 10 years. So this is this is probably making up for the last, you know, few. Um, in fact, Christmas is in less than two months. So I want to say anyone who is on holidays already or who's coming into holidays or who's looking forward to Christmas, um, you know, happy holidays and happy Christmas. Now, in the last video, you may have seen that I received my first ever NFL-related headband. And... and I don't know about you, but I love it. 
I'm growing my hair out again, so that's only going to get longer. And um, we also got a flag. So, lo and behold, we've had two videos in a row that I've received Kansas City Chiefs memorabilia. And w what's that telling you? Well, in my opinion, that's telling me I need to get the hell over to Arrowhead Stadium as fast as possible. Now, before we go, before we go, I'm assuming I probably should do a Tyreek Hill reaction, although I have done some before. But what I will do is I'm going to sift through my messages and get this guy's name up that sent it, because it's important. And I don't want to be calling him Yu Yao Chang. No, Lang. Uh, let, let's have a look here, let's have a look. Nick Minute. All right, guys, <clears throat> this is really unfortunate. Um, you know, I've been looking through my messages for half an hour and I, I cannot find who has said they're gonna send me a, a Tyreek Hill jumper. I just can't do it, I can't find them. You know, I get, I, I do get tens, I, I don't get hundreds of messages a week anymore but I do get tens of messages a week and um, pr I probably looked through about a hundred messages this year and I, I just couldn't find it either I've unfortunately uh, deleted the message by accident or I've just not scrolled up enough on the conversation but I cannot for the life of me find who sent me this so look right now I want to say the person who did send me this is definitely gonna watch this video down in the comment section below let me know who you are, I'll pin that comment so that you can get the love you deserve. Because right now I can't give it to you and I, I feel terrible about it, I really do. But uh, you know, what I will do is I haven't actually shown you guys my, my full collection for a while. So what I'm going to do before we go, I'm going to show you my full collection of jerseys. Apparently there's a Lions package on the way too. Now someone did send me a message about a possible Chiefs slash Packers package. He said he was going to send me a Tyreek Hill jersey in a size large, and it was also an old one of his. It wasn't a brand new one. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm completely and utterly confused, and I apologize. But let's have a look how many I've got now. Okay. For your viewing pleasure, we have Gonzalez for the Chiefs. That's an actual playing jersey. We've got Cribs for the Browns. We've got Hasselbeck for the Seahawks. We've got Carr for the Raiders. We've got Austin for the Cowboys. We've got Brown. Oh, Boomin uh, for the Raiders. <coughs> We have, we have an Auburn Nike jersey, which I'm very proud of. We've got a Hain 49ers jersey, which was the first one I ever bought myself. Edelman for the Patriots, legend. We've got Griffin III for the Redskins. We have uh, Tredavious White, in white, for the Bills. We've got old Ladner. Playing jersey for the Mean Green Texas. North Texas Mean Green. We've got another playing jersey for the Bison. The North Dakota State Bison. Number 12, no name. We've got a Marshall and Lynch retro <clears throat> 50th anniversary at Bill's top, which is fucking sick. We've got the good old goat, Tom Brady who it seems may be leaving the Patriots. And last but not least, we have a specifically designed MKP 49ers jumper jersey, sorry, that I'm also extremely proud about and extremely thankful to my subscriber for thinking about me so much and my business to make that for me. Ah, amazing. Absolutely amazing. So I don't know if you were keeping count, but I wasn't. And, uh, you know, what I'd really love is, is some way to display those one day. You know, when I've got a room or a wall or a couple of walls free, I will be displaying these behind me. And how cool would that be? Imagine that. This whole background being a whole bunch of memorabilia and jerseys on the wall. That sounds pretty fucking cool, and I will be doing my best to put that together someday. But for now, mate, my man who sent me this, your message is definitely in my inbox somewhere. I just cannot find it, and I apologize. I really do. But today, 
but today has been all about the Kansas City Chiefs. And um, I love the team, I really do. I hated the fact that I had to watch a full reaction of the Jacksonville Jaguars earlier in the season and see Patrick Mahomes and, and the receivers on that team absolutely carve us up. But uh, what do you expect when you've got, you know, the MVP as a quarterback in your team? Patrick Mahomes, what an absolute beast. And he could have been a professional baseballer too. That's prime time. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. I hope I've said enough. I think I have. Have a fantastic day. Peace.